Okay, 17. Okay, so um, even from low power, you can see this pretty impressive cutaneous horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then at the base is um, kind of a papillomatous acanthotic epidermis. Um, so, you know, when I see cutaneous horn, you can think of a few different things, you know, Seth Care, AK, um, Baruca, um, and uh, Squain. Yeah, exactly. So, That's the top four things to make a horn. Very good. Yeah. So, I mean, just here with the, the really long tiers of hair care, um, I personally didn't see too much atypia in the epidermis. Um, right. Agree. So I was more favoring Baruca. Yeah, I agree. But I like that you brought up, I mean, squamous cell carcinoma can have a very verrucous appearance. And of course, you know, the only way to know what's causing a horn is to biopsy and get the base of it. Otherwise, if I just get this, I say it's, it's a cutaneous horn, but we have to see the base of it. Now, almost certainly it's going to be because of a Veruca. When I can see the blood in those spires of para with blood in the middle, that corresponds to the dilated capillaries that are commonly present in the, the dermal papillae inside these papillary finger-shaped structures of the epidermis. So this is papillomatosis finger-shaped projection of epidermis. And then these are the dermal papillae that are getting caught and pulled up in there. And they often have very dilated blood vessels. And those vessels tend to bleed and hemorrhage out into um, the, the stratum corneum. And then that blood gets trapped. And that's what those black dots are on the surface of a wart that you can see clinically that some you know, non-medical folks will call seeds. They think it's a seed wart. Because I think that because of plantar wart got confused with planter, like planting in the ground and then they thought it's a seed. That's the story I like to tell myself of how that, that name came up. But it's it's uh, people are right for the wrong reason, right? These are contagious and they are kind of, there's a viral seed. It's just not the blood. The blood, the black dots is just blood. So anyway, that's a really good feature for Veruca. And then also we have this kind of invagination. Sometimes warts are kind of endophytic or in this case, exophytic and endophytic at the same time. They're above the skin surface, but then down in a cup. So kind of the opposite way that we see in, you know, like acryl, uh, you know, palmar or plantar warts. And we have nice intoing, the reedy point in towards the middle, the dilated vessels, the tears of para, the chunky coalesced blobs of dark purple hypergranulosis. Those are all excellent features for Veruca. And then a nice cutaneous horn over the top. Perfect. And I've got videos about horns and Veruca. I'll put links down below if you're watching this online.